New Vision Christian Center. service song today touch every heart touch every mind father lord jesus lord we ask that you give the ones that are on their way here we ask that you give them traveling mercy right now father lord we just thank you for how you have just shielded us from all hurt harm and danger seen and unseen father lord we just thank you for your love lord we ask that you just build us all up when we're torn down strengthen us when we're all weak Lord, we ask that you just look on our leader today. Touch him in a mighty way. Build him up where he's torn down. Strengthen where he is weak right now, Father Lord Jesus. For we know that you have the power to do so, Father. Lord, come in this service and just have your way right now, Father. Have your way in our lives right now, Father, in this service right now, Jesus. Lord, we ask these things in your name we pray. Let everyone say amen. Repeat after me. Behold, bless ye the Lord. All ye servants of the Lord, which by night 
Stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Come on, come on, bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth. Bless the other side. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Give down the hands of the minister of music and praise team as they come. Bless the Amen.
our district missionary, Kanita Smith. Amen. Certainly, it is a wonderful and a privilege to be able to be in the house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you just want to lift your hands with my hands lifted up? Hallelujah.
God, in the name of Jesus, before we ask you for anything, we just want to say thank you. God, we say thank you. God, we say thank you. If we had 2,000 tongues, it would not be enough to say thank you, so we're saying it now. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for waking us up this morning clothed in our right mind. Thank you for starting us on our way, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to make it to your edifice of worship on this morning. Through the snow, God, through the cold, through the highways and byways, we make it here and we say thank you. For your word says, enter into your gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. So we're thanking God to be able to enter on this morning. God, we say thank you for the breath of life, to be able to shout the height of praise of hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for the activity of our lands. We may not have full activity, some of us, but we thank God for the activity that we do have. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for keeping us through this pandemic. Thank you for keeping us through this trials and tribulations, mountains and valleys that we have faced. We say thank you. Thank you, oh Lord. Thank you. Father, we're saying now that you touch us now from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet, God. Touch us in the name of Jesus. Touch our hearts, God. Touch our minds. Touch our souls. Touch our spirits, God. In the name of Jesus, we're asking now, God, that you have your way. Have your way in our finances. Have your way in our future. In the name of Jesus, we're saying have your way, God. We're saying now, Lord, forgive us of all of our sins that we've committed. Known and unknown, Lord, forgive us now, Lord. We're sorry, Lord, forgive us. We're repenting now, Lord. Father, we're repenting now for the sins that we have committed, known and unknown, Lord. We're accepting you again as our personal Lord and Savior. We're saying thank you for sending your son to die for our sins. We're saying thank you for your son. Thank you for your Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost that keeps us, that makes us act right, talk right, move right, and be right. In the name of Jesus, we're asking now that you touch our leaders. Touch them from the crown of their heads to the very soles of their feet, God. Continue to give them the power, the wisdom, and the strength to lead us higher in you. Bless New Vision as a whole, bless New Hope Outreach Ministry, and bless the jurisdiction of Colorado Church of God in Christ. In the name of Jesus, we're asking now, Lord, that you meet every need on this altar on today. Whatever the people are asking, meet it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For you said if we call on your son's name, you'll be able to make a way. Your son will come and be with us. Late in the midnight hour, early in the morning, your son was with us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, so we're saying thank you now, God. Thank you for your son, God. Thank you, Lord, for asking now, Lord, that you touch this nation that's on the brink of war. But we bind it and we rebuke it and we cast it out in the name of Jesus. We shall be safe, we shall be whole, and we shall be set free. In the name of Jesus. And let someone get saved, set free, delivered. In the name of Jesus. 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 We're speaking Jesus to our problems. We're speaking Jesus to our circumstances. We're speaking Jesus to our situations. Jesus heal. Jesus set free. Jesus deliver. Jesus help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Send your help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Send your anointing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For you said, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. You're Lord of all, ruler of creation, ruler of this earth. And we're saying, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Touch the speaker on today. Give them a word from on high. Continue to bless us and keep us. Bless the ones that are here. Bless the ones that are on their way. In the name of Jesus. And by the clapping of our hands, we say thank you. By the clapping of our hands, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. amen. And amen.
going to have a words of empowerment by Minister Sills as he comes to see you. Yeah. Good morning, church. Good morning. Okay, so praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord again, church. One scripture for you is going to be coming out of Psalms 30, verse 11. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and please stand and receive our pastor. Please stand for pastor as he comes. Thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou has put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Yes. So my thought of and words of encouragement is God has already turned it around. Amen. So no matter what situation you're going through, it may seem like it's impossible, impossible to tread through, deal with, or even succumb. Know that God has already turned the situation around yes. for your favor. No matter what the people, family, or situation may tell you, you remember and tell yourself this, I have already conquered the situation. God has already made me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. And God has already said it in his word already. He gave me a promise that he will turn it around for me. So there's no person nor devil in this earth or spiritual that is strong enough to conquer the word of God. So tell yourself this every single day. God has turned it around for me. God has made it away for me. And that God has conquered it for me. Amen. Still came with the breeze, burning on the inside, trying to work his way on the outside. I don't need a whole lot of people to get those. I can praise them all by myself. Amen.
Christians can come, other people's show can come. Amen. Right. And that's an amen right there. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, New Vision. Good afternoon, brother. I had, when I was coming in church today, or sitting back there a while ago, there's a song that I haven't sang in a long time. It's, actually, it's a congregational song. And everything in it says, send it on down. Yes, yes. All right. Send it on down. Amen. Lord, let the Holy Ghost come on down. Amen. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit of that before I do my solo. Come on, all right, all right. Come on. Send it on down. Send it on down. Lord, let the Holy Ghost come on down.
Amen? So don't take the precious time that you have right. Don't take it for granted. Amen? Because tomorrow is not promised. Amen? So any chance you get to give God some praise, Lord, give it to Him. Because He deserves it. Amen? Amen. We're going to turn this portion of the service over to Elder Ephraim as he comes and sing with me. Amen. 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 We had a great time in Sunday school this morning. We went way over time. Uh, truly wish many of you were there. You learned something. We learned something very, very precious. I did anyway this morning. But uh, we're going to now turn this over to our pastor. And we're going to ask each one to stand and receive him in his own way. Amen. This man in the hands of our pastor, Pastor William R. Ephraim. God bless you, thank you. God is good in the church. All the time, amen. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Your and kindness. Thank you for these that have gathered. Every song, every gift, every testimony. Thank you. Every minister. We do the best. Church mothers, we thank you. Send your word now. Bless this family that has brought this baby before you. Thank you. Bless us now that we might be a blessing. Fill the room with your presence even more than it is now. In the name of Jesus, send your word, let me speak words of hope and of help. We give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Everybody say thank the Lord. We take your seat.
Yes, I do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We get honor and respect to the pulpit. All here in the building. I feel some kind of way today. Yes. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. I had an experience in my office this morning. I feel someone in my circle is in trouble. It fell upon me. I'm the member of the club, <coughs> superintendents, and bishops, and overseers. <coughs> and it fell on me this morning in my office, and I don't know why. I still feel it. Some call him Jesus. But I call I call him Lord. I can't sing too good today, but I'm going to sing anyway. Some call him Jesus. Ooh, I call him Lord. I call him Lord. Emmanuel. He lives within us and his name is called Emmanuel. Now goes all of you, Lord. Somebody tell them. Stand, no, 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 you stay where you at. 
Amen. Sister Sales, she's coming. She's going to stand behind you all. Tell her I thank you. And Mother Blackwell, want Mother to come stand in the middle right behind this baby. You stand behind this girl. Say amen. amen. Some people ask me sometimes, what you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do until I get up. Amen. amen. The Lord told me to have the mothers of the church to come stand. Mother going to stand behind the baby. And these women of God going to stand behind you all. Sister Sal, you stand behind Sister LaDonna. Church, say amen. amen. I was thinking today about someone called me early this morning and talked about all that we'd gone through and I thought about the Nelsons. I thought about uh, many years ago uh, before you all were connected I, um, I was sitting in the office and uh, Brother Nelson's father and his wife at the time, she was in my group home for girls. And I did, I did that wedding. They got married a long time ago. And I was sitting in and I was going through so much stuff. And they sent, they came and sent someone in with an envelope for me. And the envelope, I opened it up and it was $4,000 in it. They gave to the church. No one would have ever thought that they would have been able or had a heart to do that for the church. Their son, uh, his son, is your baby's father. Praise God. This morning I was thinking about this. And I started thinking, I said, she's going to grow up. She don't understand without a father's touch. Brain was very significant. And when I got the certificate, I saw his name on there. We do ourselves so much damage in our communities. But I'm here to tell you, you're doing the right thing. We don't know how God's gonna move. Some people tell me I do stuff I shouldn't do and I ought not do this and I ought not do that. But uh, that was a day one day that they brought children to Jesus. Bible says you, 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 you was in the right key. He had been talking to people about women and adultery and all that stuff. They was lambasting people. And uh, in the 13th verse of St. Mark, the 10th chapter and the 13th verse, they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. They literally rebuked the people that brought the children. And when Jesus saw it, this is the 14th verse, he was much displeased. I mean, Jesus got mad. He was moved with indignation and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and don't you dare forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God to those children, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them.
Alabosuti. circumstances are, no matter how painful it might be, they have not forgotten you, Lord. They trust you, they believe in you, and I pray a prayer covering over this baby and over this family. In the name of Jesus, let a miracle happen in their midst that all of the things that could have been, let somehow it be made up for in this child's life in the name of Jesus we say thank you thank you Lord we pray for from the crown of our little head to the soles of our feet let the spirit of kindness that was in that family touch and grow in her let the spirit of her yes. grandmother amen in God serving you God you take over and do what men can't do cover her Keep her in yeah. years to come. Yes. Let him teach her yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, I'm praying that 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 the enemy has taken, yes. you fulfill it even more as only you can yes. in the name of Jesus. From the crown of a mother's head to the soles of her feet, I pray a blessing upon you. Yes. In Jesus' name, blessings upon you strength upon you, joy in your life, claim it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so, I say it is so, it is so, it is so, it is so, I felt this this morning, it is so, Success. You got your hands on the back. It is so. You got your hands on the back. It is so. 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 He never failed. It is so. It is so. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And it is so. In Jesus' name. It is so. Yes, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. It is so. Thank you, Lord. Before they leave, bring that podium over here, please. And the Shabika has the pen. We're going to sign this certificate here. Turn around the other way, D. Left face time. 
you have a certificate? I get the certificate from the pulpit. Yeah. And I want you to sign. I already signed it. make copies and then you get this is the original give you that that's a legal document in the court of law that's a legal document amen it's on record in our church when I'm gone and this baby's grown it'll be somewhere in our archives amen that you brought her you can tell her that you brought her before the law when she was two years old or whatever her age is okay. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tell the Lord, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. somebody in our midst not maybe in this room is fighting for their life right now uh, very close to me we've been friends for many years amen me and superintendent Searles he's uh, this situation is dire amen haven't been able to go see him but uh I feel it. Yes, sir. If I walk in, yes, yes. give me a clinic. The pathway of duty. If I work till the close of the day, I shall see the great king in his beauty when I've gone the last time all the way just when I've gone the last mile of the way then I will rest then I will rest at the close The joys that await me when I'm gone. Last night, all the way. Hallelujah. I give honor and respect to everyone. Glad to see Pastor Bibbs and his lovely wife. All of you that are here, I'm not going to be before you long. Sunday school was good. I called Deacon Ford this morning. You all can thank him for us being here today. I said, you want to do service virtual? And he said, no, let whoever going to come, let them come. Amen. 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 I have compassion for the members sometimes when I see snow falling and things of that nature. I don't want people out on the highway, Deacon Barnett, trying to get to the church and slipping and sliding. Amen. But it's not, sometimes it's not time to close the church. It's time to keep it open. And I'm thankful that Deacon, I mean, echoed what I was feeling, but I didn't have, I asked his advice and he gave it to me. And we're here. Amen? Amen. I uh, wish I had something to hold this. One of these days, Deacon, uh, Scott, we're going to find one of those lapel things that work good enough for me that I'll be satisfied using it. We done tried about three, but I don't like none of them, so. That's why I'm holding a mic. Amen. We'll find one. Maybe we'll get enough money maybe to to fix. Thank you. All right. I'll try this. I often wonder 
since I've been trying to preach what I'm supposed to tell the people and God has been so kind to me Sister Geraldine that he just opens it up and tells me what I'm supposed to do and uh, all this week has been a really tough week dealing with the preparations for Sister uh, a sister's wedding, what's her name? Sinclair. Sister Joy, is it? Joy. Joy Sinclair. We got to do her service. We went to other pieces, service, and yeah, other things going on that I don't want to bring up. Almost everything's sad. Amen. War in Ukraine. Very serious situation we're dealing with. I, mean, I don't care how far down on the totem pole you are, that's going to affect you before it's over with. So there are a lot of things going on, and I came into church this morning, and the Sunday school books that we should have had the publishing house had some kind of issue, and although we are, our, our books are paid automatically from our church account, the publishing house ability to print them was lost. And so they sent things on a download and Deaconess Eichner downloaded a portion of it, but in the back of our Sunday school book at the end of every, of every course, they give you the subject of the next, what the new course is gonna be about, and this was, uh, this was about wisdom uh, the the uh, place of wisdom in the creation. Yes, sir. And that's where we studied from. And it made me understand why the Lord said, this is what I'm supposed to preach. So, a while back, I guess several years ago, I was studying the Bible. I used to study a lot, had both of my eyes, I could see good. I was studying the Bible and I got into the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, and I read it and I started crying because I couldn't find myself in, in the Bible. Deacon Barnett, I, the Bible is a book that's alive. It's designed to meet every need. And so this is what he gave me. Revelations, the seventh chapter, and the first through the seventeenth verses. You all can just listen if you want to. Revelation seven and one says, and after these things, John is talking because he's been isolated on the Isle of Patmos. He's alone. He's they put him out there to punish him, to hurt him, hoping he would die out there. Sometimes you got to get by yourself to hear from God. You got too many iPads and things. You watching YouTube, laughing at people making a fool out of themselves when you should be thinking about other things. On this day, John didn't have no iPad, he didn't have no radio, he didn't have TV, he didn't have no friends, he was just down with the animals and fighting off those things that were there probably to kill him. And the Lord came to him and gave him a revelation. Sometimes you gotta quiet your life down so you can hear from God. We got so much going on in our lives, sometimes we can't hear from God. There's so many ugly things happening or we get so excited about our vacation or whatever it is that we want to do, we cannot hear from God. But every now and then the man and woman of God must isolate themselves so that they can hear from him. And if you don't do it on your own, sometimes God will fix it to where 
He'll fix it where you have to do it. John is out there on the Isle of Patmos. Not because he wanted to be there, but because they put him there. No did they know that God was going to use him out there in the middle of nowhere. And so Revelation 7, beginning at the first verse, says, and I'm happy to hear about my granddaughter's uh, victory. Yeah, amen. amen. It's good. Amen. Your eyes, you lose your eyes, that's, that's a huge disadvantage. So John is writing from the revelation that Jesus Christ has given to him for us. And he says, after these things, I saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there was sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And I knew I wasn't of that tribe. The tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Esau was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Nephthalim was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Manassas was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000 the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Zebulon was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. Would y'all rest on your feet with me now? Amen. I was crying because I wasn't in that number. And after this I beheld a great multitude, mm -hmm. which no man could number, mm -hmm. of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, mm -hmm. and, I, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb and all the angels stood round about the throne mm -hmm. and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne uh, uh, their faces and worship, on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might yeah. Be unto our God forever and ever. Yes. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they. These are they. Which came out of tribulation 
and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. Yes. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. Neither shall the sunlight on them, nor any heat for the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them mm -hmm. and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Mm -hmm. Revelation reveals the will of God for his people. You may take your seat. Amen. Say it with me. These are they. These are they. I started crying until I got to that. And, and then the, 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 the Bible, you have to read between the lines. Everything John says that Jesus told them could not be written in the book because it's too much. And so he revealed to me while I was misering myself that I have a place Amen. with God. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm not one of the 144,000. I'm not one of the elders that sit around the throne. Yes, sir. But I am one of them mm -hmm. yes, sir. that's washing his robe in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Revelation revealed the will of God for his people. And since all souls belong to God, he don't leave nobody out. Amen. Firstly, I want to let you know God has a concern for us. Secondly, his desire is for us to prosper. He don't want nobody poor. People are poor because of sin. And thirdly, Jesus never fails. We got to clarify uh, who the revelation belongs to. Revelation actually it's not John's revelation. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ that God gave to him. And his job, amen, is to deliver it to us. He sent that revelation to John. He signified it by his angel to his servant John. It's called the revelation because God reveals those things which could never have been sifted out of human understanding. Yes, sir. He reveals those deep things of God which no man knows except for the Spirit of God. And those to whom God reveals them to. Men have for centuries given the idea that the book of Revelation is a book that cannot be understood. And this is true to a great extent for men, amen, who or have not given themselves to God will not be able to understand the spiritual aspects of Revelation. But contrary to many opinions, it's not hidden, but it is revealed to his servants. It was necessary in the wisdom of God to encourage his servants by revealing to them a portion of his will. With all of God's power, he is still concerned enough about his children to warn and encourage them. God didn't have to do it. For as big as he is, he could have overlooked us. Yes, sir. God, somebody has said, that heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. He's so rich till the cattle of a thousand hills belong to him. Yeah. All of the gold and silver belong to him. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof yeah. is his. God speaks and the winds obey. Yeah. The heavens declare his handiwork. 
it snows when he get ready for it to snow. Yet, with all of his power, Revelation reveals his love and concern for us. Revelation shows God's concerns about our shortcomings in that it revealed the weaknesses in the churches. Some are good, but they have left their first love. Some have fallen and need to do their first work over. Some of us are like the church at Smyrna and must be reminded that this race is not to the swift, not to the strong, but to him that endures to the end. Like the church at Pergamos, we must be reminded that nothing can come before God. Like the church at Thyatira, we must be reminded to fight against sin at all times. Like the church at Sardis, we must repent from dead works. Like the church at Philadelphia, we are reminded that if God opens a door for you, can no man shut it. Like the church at Laodicea, we must be reminded that we ought to be cold or hot, not just lukewarm. And to him that overcome, there is a place with the Lord. Revelation shows the concern of God for the false prophet in that it lets him know that hell is waiting for him. And if he don't repent, hell gonna gobble him up. It reveals the love of God in that it shows his children a microscopic view of the city that he's preparing for them. The streets are paved with gold. The walls are of Jasper and so on. Revelation shows God's concern about our shortcomings and that it reveals the weaknesses in the churches. There had to be a reason why Peter was willing to go to the cross because of the word of God. Something had happened to him and that's why we say you need the Holy Ghost in your life for when things get really rough on you, you need more than somebody hollering at you. You need something down on the inside of you. That is a reason why Paul was willing to go to the chopping block as smart as he was. Revelation reveals the providence of God. It shows the care of God and makes preparation for the future. It gives you a way out. It tells you what you need to do in order to survive in a dying world. It tells you how to stand up in a world that's falling down. Revelations reveals the mercy of God. So it shows compassion where severity is really what you deserve. God is concerned about our welfare. It reveals the power of God. It reveals his ability to act whenever he gets ready to act. The pandemic may come and it won't stop till he gets ready for it to stop. The devil might bring it, but God controls it. The winds, Katrina may come, but after Katrina, people turn to Christ. God uses your shortcomings and your downfalls to help build you up, he gives you experience. Tells you, if you turn to the Lord, he will make a way for you. I was crying that night. I saw around the throne, there were four and twenty amen elders sitting on the seats around the throne. I, I looked and I didn't see myself. And I was crying. And I said, in my spirit, the me, my mortality, my sinful body says, ain't no place for me there. I couldn't see myself. The Lord had to show me 
about his concern. All I could see was the sons of Israel. I saw Reuben. Amen. I saw Levi and Judah. I saw Issachar. I saw Zebulon, the sons of Bilhah. I saw Rachel's boys. I saw, I saw Dan and I saw Naphtali. I saw, amen, Ziphar. I saw Asher. I saw them all. And their names were written, amen, in the walls of Jerusalem. I looked. I couldn't find myself anywhere. And I said, oh, here I am. Lord, where's my place? And uh, I looked and I saw a number. So I came about to tell you today. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. I came about to tell you that you got it made already. If Sister Gonzalez, you stay with the Lord. You already, you already got it made. Yes, I cried. I said I cried. But God, he said, read between the lines. There are, yes, they've hunted and fought the four thousand. They already been sealed. The 420 elders, they already got their place. But if you follow Jesus, you will be in a number that no man can number. I looked and I saw a number that no man can number. I looked, I said I looked, and way back, way, way back in the number, they were getting ready for a banquet. Yes, they were getting ready for a banquet. They had already been transitioned. Somebody, you don't believe in the rapture, but I came by to tell you, God is waiting. He got a place for you. He got a place for me. I'm in that number that no man can number. And if you believe that Jesus is the Christ of God, you can be in that number. Do you want to be in it? Look at somebody and say, I heard the Bible say, these are they that have come up through tribulation. Aren't you in tribulation? Don't you want to be one of them in that number? I'm in a number. No man can number. And I'm in a number. That's not only thousands. It's trillions. It's millions. It's ten trillion. It's billion trillions. It's a number that no man can number. These are they. They lied on them. These are they. Been ticked around. These are they. Been set aside. These are they. Been ostracized. These are they. Been kicked out. These are they. Been stomped down. The Come on, somebody. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I come up through hard trials. I watch my road in the blood of the Lamb. I, 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 I know. I said I know who my God is. I know. Do you know? Do you know him? His name is Jesus. He is the hope of glory. He is Mary's baby. He is his only begotten son. I'm glad, I said I'm glad that nobody like Jesus. When I'm hungry, eat my bread. When I'm weary, eat my rest. When I'm sick, he's my doctor. When I'm in trouble, he's my lawyer. When I'm thirsty, he's my water. He's my water. When I need a friend, he stands with me. When I don't have a father, he's my father. No mother, 
keep my mother, he's alright with me. Look at somebody, say I'm one of them. I don't know about y'all, but I'm one of them. I am. I said I am one of them. I know they laugh at me. Because I give all my time to the church. I know they talked about me when I was a deacon. Because I never failed to pay my tithes. I know they talked about me. Said I was brown nosing when I run and grab my pastor's briefcase. But I came by to tell you, you got to serve. 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 God will reward you. And one of these days, I... I'm looking for somebody in here that can join the angels. They said, these are they. They said, who are these? They're special folk. They got white robes. They got a name written on a stone that nobody don't know. Only one that know the name is the Lord that wrote it. I know my name is William, but William been lied on. William been kicked aside. William done dumped some dirt. William been wiped out. Name been put on the highway. Put on the signboard. I got a name that don't nobody know. Jesus got my name. And my name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. And one of these days, I said one of these days, the book gonna be open. And in that book, I don't know how far back it is. I'm gonna hear not bishop people, not overseer, not superintendent, not pastor, not elder. Not minister. Servant. Servant. Well done. Somebody say, well done. Well done. You've held your peace when you should have talked. You gave your money when they said you should have kept it. You got out of your bed when you were sick. Well done. Well, well done, Brian. Well done, Johnson. Well done, Peace. Somebody have me say, well done. I don't know what you're working for, but I'm working for well done. Sister Geraldine, don't let nothing change you. It's going to be a well done for you. Well done. Well done. Sister Gonzalez, keep on doing what he gave you to do. He's going to say, well done. Well done. My good and faithful servant. Well done. Organist. Well done. Drummer. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. The baby you're holding, you want the Lord to say, well done. You took care of the baby. Well done. In spite of your troubles, well done. Well done. Well done. You didn't get that million you wanted, but well done. You took the ten you had, and you did what you're supposed to do. Well done. Well done. Well done. My good and faithful servant. Well done. 
for your burden in the heat of the day. Well done. You gave to others when they took away from you. Well done. You held your peace when they lied on you. Well done. Thank you. Things that men give you. They can take away from you. If you corrupt this suit, this robe, Deacon Scott and Sister Scott bought it for me some years ago. I really like this robe, but it's beginning to get frayed on the edges. The thread is coming out of it. One of my members bought me these shoes on Royal Malacos. They cost so much money. But one of these days, I don't know what kind of shoes I'm gonna have. But I'm gonna have some shoes I can. Oh, I'm already all right, sis. I ain't trying to get all right, I'm all right now. What, you know, when they come and say something to me, I, I, I got a word, I say I'm still in the fight. I'm still in the fight. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Somebody say, well, as long as you fight, you're all right. That's all right. I'm still in the fight. As long as I got breath, I'm in the fight. And you know, I don't have to have a lot of money to be happy. Because money don't bring happiness. Money brings security. I don't need money to be happy. If I got my joy, I'm happy with that. Somebody, food stamp folk can give me some food stamps. Social Security give me a check if I work. A lot of things we worry about, we don't need to be worried about that. You already got that. What you want is to hear the Lord say, well done. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't with me. I want him to say to me, well done. Well, what if my wife left me? What if my husband walks away? What if he won't take care of his kid? All right, I'm going to do it if he tell me to do it, I'm going to do it because I want to hear him say, well done. Well, my car might not run, but I can walk. Well done. All right. I ain't got to worry about no shoes because if I need something, and Sister Shelly, see him. She's gonna tell my mother, and my mother's gonna make sure I get some shoes. I got a brand new pair of shoes at this church, they put money in. That's how many. I got so many shoes. It ain't about things. Things don't make you happy. Sometimes things bring you mission. That's right. This stuff these folks are fussing over. You wonder why they're so stupid to fight a war. But they don't have God, they don't believe in God. It's in Russia. And then they do believe in God, they oppress them. Look somebody, I want to hear him say, well done. Bishop Orland, well done. Bishop Johnson, well done. Bishop Brown, well done. I, I'm the one calling call it them Bishop. But all I need him to say to me is well done, good and faithful, sir. 
You ain't safe for over two things. And now, I'm gonna make you ruler over many things. Well done. Thank you. Lord have mercy. All of a sudden, when you gave me my new mission, because it's, it's more of it's more of transitioning than flying around heaven all day. Eyes have not seen. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't on the same plane no more. Ears have not heard. It has not even entered into your mind the things that He has in store for you. You've been watching the storm. I'm going to the storm. Well done. Somewhere in the cosmos, he may need me. But I can't go to the cosmos full of sin. Because I'll transmit it and mess up the cosmos. But when I get my new body, he can send me out. On this universe, out into the cosmos, somewhere in the Milky Way, maybe you got a job for me. I'm going where no man has gone before, but I can't go there unless I deal with this. When I make it through this, he gonna say, "Well done." What you gonna do with these? Whatever it is, Ethan say yes, Lord. Somebody say yes, Lord. Tell him yes, Lord, sis. Tell him yes, Lord. The daughter's daughter's tell him yes. Yes, Lord. I don't care what that nobody says. I know y'all belong to God. No matter what you've been doing, no matter what you've been through, you belong to God. Your mama is in you. You can't get out of it. Jesus free. Yes. I love God. Say what you want to say. Call me what you want to call me. I want to hear him say, well done. Do what you want to do. Well, you know, I want my well done. I want it, I'm going to get it. Stop me for hearing him say, well done.
Hallelujah. And well done. Yes. I know that one day the Lord gave it to me. He told me about all the stuff that I've done. I know that one day I'm going to find that number myself. Because he told me so. He gave me another chance in life. He watched me all over again. If I could just walk this walk and talk this talk that he had showed me, I'll be all right. Hallelujah. That's where I want to get to. You want to say, well done. That's what you look at. nothing else. We just a shell. But that breath he bled into me, breathed into me, to make me walk, to make me talk, to make me jump up and down, to make me glorify his name. Once that breath is gone, I know I'm going to glory. Because I'm in the spirit of the Lord. My Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, it's offering time. Let us see what happens. 